Creative Europe programme is going through the Cultural and Education Committee at the moment and we will be voting on it in committee in September. It will then go to the plenary session of the Parliament where I very much hope it will get adopted. But sadly that's not the end of the process because the budget which would have been agreed at that point by both the European Parliament and the European Commission then has to go to the Council of Ministers and we aren't sure what they will do and there is a possibility that they may not give the full budget that we're asking for. So I'm saying that so that viewers to this programme don't get the idea that once it's gone through the Parliament that's it. Sadly it isn't and you will have to wait for the next stage in the process. The idea is to create one program just to make it easier, the administration easier and hopefully for those who apply for the money making it easier to understand and we have over the years had people saying it's quite difficult to apply for this funding because it's not clear and I hope if it's streamlined it will make it much better. And there are some very good new initiatives. One of the main ones, which I think is really good, is the Loan Guarantee Facility, which will allow um, film and other cultural organisations to apply for loans from, which will be underwritten by the European Central Bank, and it will actually have about £1 billion facility for organisations to, to do this. And I think that's very important because I know one of the issues is that small outfits that make film often find it difficult to get bank loans. So that's exactly why we've suggested this and I very much hope that goes through because I think that's a very exciting and very useful new initiative. I think there is scope for improvement. I mean, I happen to know that in the UK it doesn't always work very well. Um, although films like The King's Speech did get funding from the media programme, I think there is more that we could do. And I would like to see much more help from the larger countries to smaller countries so that we see it much more as a European film industry and that we all work together and that we share ideas and views as well. I think there is scope, there's always going to be a language problem um, and I know these days that English is becoming more and more a common language but it doesn't really get over the problem but I think what we need to do is work out creative ways of working together. I think there is huge scope and I think with uh, some goodwill I think we can do a lot more than we do at the moment. The Creative Europe programme is not legislation, so there won't need to be changes in, in that sense. I mean, we're not actually asking member states to change anything. What we're doing is providing additional funding, I hope, and a better environment for film to flourish. That's the idea. So there shouldn't be any need to actually change what goes on in terms of the, the law. But what I'm hoping it will do is will encourage people organisations to work together, much more cross-border cooperation and just more flexibility and fluidity and better programmes at the end of it. So that's what I would like to see come out of it. And I think that's very important for us in London. Um, a lot of people find it very surprising when they're told that the creative industries in London is the second largest industry after financial services. When you consider the size of the City of London, that is quite extraordinary. It's a very important part of the British economy and the European economy. And I think we need to talk about this more and, and get uh, policymakers throughout the EU to understand the importance of the cultural industries. The only thing I would make a comment on is that the state aid rules, which are very strict and are designed to prevent 
individual member states having monopolies and actually having advantages over other member states. But when it comes to putting this into practice in film and culture, it can actually have a very negative effect because we're not talking about monopolies here, we're actually talking about allowing film and audiovisual and other forms of culture to thrive. So I would really like the European Commission to take on board the fact that state aid, the way it's currently configured, does not work well for culture and for the European Commission to go away and have a long hard look at it so we make it better for all those involved in film, audiovisual and other forms of cultural enterprise.